everybody. I am Ginger Wolf and welcome Stripped Finance. This video is for informational and entertainment purposes only. I am a feature entertainer and stripper, not a financial consultant. Please speak to your financial advisor about any financial matters. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Hi, so today we are starting the $10 challenge and Right now we are at a flea market, right? Because the flea market is some like the best places to get good stuff for a small amount of money. So let's go. We're going to be buying something for $10 and hopefully we're going to be able to sell that for at least $20. So we're trying to double our money today. So let's go. Let's see what we can do. So Quick side note, this is where I buy a lot of my like fresh produce, simply because I just, I don't like grocery stores, dude. It, I, I just don't like them. Not to mention, it's all local and it's community, and it's good to put money back into it. Alright, let's continue. As you can see, these are the earrings, and I've done made the majority of the post, but I'm actually just going to take a quick picture of them. Hmm. Unfortunately, I shed like a shepherd. This card photo, let's try again. There we go, so you can see there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put it online and hopefully I shall hear back. So see, look, there's all of the stuff. And next. Alrighty, so it is on there, so let's hope that we get a call back soon. Hey everybody, welcome back to Stripped Finance. So today's gonna be a short one. It's not really like a video. It's more of like an apology and an explanation, right? So as you all know, I was doing what was called the 10 to $10,000 challenge. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I hit a, like, a little setback, okay? I was on my way home from work one night and uh, I got kamikaze by Bambi's mom. Totally my I'm fine. To all of you who I can like hear your like little fingers typing on your keyboard, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. A little upset because I had to get a new car. And that was after arguing with my insurance company. It, it was safe to say that for like an entire week, life hated me. Okay? Because not only did I total my car, I had to argue with my insurance. A rental car that got stolen by some crackheads, okay? And yes, I'm not kidding. They stole my rental car. And the, like, the worst part is, right, is that the rental company, I guess, was so sure that no one would ever steal a rental car that they didn't activate the tracking thing on there, right? So they, somebody got a free car from Enterprise, and it wasn't me. 
on the bright side though just like with any setback right you work through it it makes you a better person it helps you look out for something to avoid in the long run so after a very stressful week finally got everything back together and I got a new vehicle I'm super excited about it because I figured since I'm gonna have to buy a new vehicle anyways I might as well get a vehicle that I actually really wanted for a long time so I ended up getting a Toyota Tacoma I got a taco and it's great it's really really fun because I am very small right I'm very small and I'm very short and it's a big truck, and I feel real big, okay? I could be driving down the road, and when I look down, I can look into somebody's car, and it's exciting. I'm just like, oh. hi. I got off track, sorry. I get super excited, but I'm talking about my car. It's awesome. Anyways, don't be afraid of setbacks, okay? They're entirely normal, and they're gonna happen. If you think you can live your entire life without having a setback, you are dumb doesn't matter how well you prepare for it, right? It's still gonna kick you, and it hurts. Okay, I was very fond of my car. But, it's okay, champ. Setbacks are normal. Bambi's mom is mean. Just you know, be careful. Blare the radio with the windows down. That's pretty much it guys. I am going to be doing the video. You just gotta, gotta give me some time. I gotta get everything settled, put back together. And then I have some upcoming bookings and all that good stuff so it's gonna get a little wobbly from here. However, I am super excited. I do have a big announcement. I have been invited to a specialty showcase in Puerto Rico. I've never been to Puerto Rico before, and it's going to be really, really tiring because I have my two-week Texas tour that I have a whole day of driving back home, and then the day after that, I fly out to Puerto Rico. Don't mind my hands. Don't judge me. But I'm super excited because I've never been to Puerto Rico before, and uh, it's going to be fun. That's pretty much it, guys. So key takeaways. Things happen. Okay, I was going to say something else, but YouTube doesn't like cuss words, so things happen. Be prepared for it, or I'd rather be as prepared as you can be. Two, if a food lion is in a, is in a shady part of town, don't park your car there. Doesn't matter. Just don't. Don't do it. And three, if you're going to be in Texas in September, right, I think it's like the 12th through the, I think it's the 12th through like the 29th, I'm going to be there. So if you want to meet these titties in person, be there, or be square. Bye! Hi everybody, welcome back to Strip Finance. So today we are going to sell the earrings that we bought for $10. I found a lady who wants to buy them. She runs her own business, so she is going to buy them for me for $30 and then sell them on her own site, which I will put a link to in the description below. The important thing, right, is that we are meeting in a public place. If you don't know the person you're meeting, meet in a public place, okay? That's how you get kidnapped and sold into some kind of, you know, what industry. Let's not do that. But, I'll see y'all when we get there. Bye! Alright guys, so we've got here, it's a little gas station out in the middle of nowhere, which is kind of cute. I actually really like it around here. Dude. I just passed a couple of stores that I can't tell you what they are because of YouTube guidelines. So, let's go! These are the earrings that we're going to be selling. Let's go see if she's here. Hi, 
looks to be her right there. Stephanie, is that you? Yeah. Woo! I'm Ginger. Nice to meet you, Ginger. Alright, I'm not a people. I'm not a people person either. There's that. I'm going to say Let's go. So, we have sold our earrings. We have profited $20, which gives us a whole $30 to use now. And that's pretty much it. I'm on my way home. And I'm going to start researching what I'm going to do next. I'll see you next time. Bye.